Hey guys, so in my office and I wanted to record a quick little video. So something kind of happened to me like maybe like a week before um, and it was like concerning a scholarship. So, you know, I always talk about scholarships. I'm actually going to school right now for free, but I always talk about scholarships even still. So I'm going to share what happened to me and some tips for you. But before I get started, please be sure to like, share and subscribe to my channel. so like a week ago or maybe like a week before that um i applied for a for like um another college scholarship i say college scholarship is in it's specific to our uh university so yes if you've been watching my channel you know that i received a doctoral scholarship that uh pays for tuition and fees previously i had to pay 1200 well previously i got 1200 dollars and then i paid the fees which were like crazy high um, but in the spring, this new thing came about, so um, I've been definitely enjoying that, but I still will apply for other things here and there. So uh, we have another like university scholarship that typically comes out once a year, and you can apply for it um, in the fall, typically uh, before classes start. Um, it's called like a staff scholarship, so it's for staff specifically. So I saw it and, you know, I applied for it and then maybe like a few days later, my boss emailed me and she was like, did you apply for that scholarship? You get the doctoral scholarship that covers everything. Like, why would you need that one? And I said, for books. So when I'm applying for additional scholarships, of course, I know that my tuition and fees are already taken care of, but I want to apply for things that are going to take care of my books. I want to apply for things that are going to help me to be able to put money elsewhere so that I can upgrade the equipment that I have. Like I need to get a new laptop here uh, pretty soon. So that's really the purpose in applying for those other things. You want to really have a scholarship fund for each of the things that you need. So should you apply for more than one scholarship? Yes. Um, you know, the purpose in doing this is so that you can have more funds to cover other expenses related to college. So the thing about college is it's not really just the tuition and fees. It's all of the other things that cost. So you want to make sure that you're applying for as many scholarships as possible so that you have as much funds as possible to cover those things. Now, how do you apply for, you know, as many scholarships as possible? You really got to have your eyes and ears open. So I just knew that that was a scholarship that comes out yearly. So I was expecting it. Um, I'm going to post my uh, scholarship engine video up here for uh, enrolled students. You most likely have access to this resource. So make sure that you uh, take a look at it. But you want to make sure that you're checking your email. You want to make sure that you're contacting your financial aid advisor, um, sometimes your academic um, advisor too, to see what's out there. Now is the time where there are some scholarships that are still open. Uh, so don't get discouraged just because classes are about to start soon. There's still some things that are out there because we haven't started the fall quite yet. So keep your eyes and ears open and make sure you check out that scholarship search engine um, in the video linked above. So this might be a silly question, but what happens when you don't apply to scholarships? Millions of dollars, sometimes billions of dollars, they just kind of sit to the side and people who really need the funds, like they suffer. So maybe they don't have the books that they need. Maybe they weren't able to cover that meal plan or that housing and they had to take out a loan. Maybe they couldn't do something enriching like going on a study abroad trip because they didn't apply. So when you don't apply, the money misses you. It's kind of like the lottery. You know, you can't win if you don't play. Same thing with scholarships. You can't get the scholarship if you don't apply. As somebody who works at a university, I know how much money just like sits there because people don't apply for it. So don't be that person that just feels like, man, I'm not going to get that. You never know. In addition to, you want to make sure that when you're getting these emails that say, hey, you need to apply for scholarships, a lot of times if they're sending it out three and four and five times, that's because a lot of people didn't apply. So that's your hint, hint, hint. You might want to apply so that it doesn't miss you. All right, y'all. So I hope this video was helpful for you. Drop down in the comments and let me know what else do you want to know about scholarships or free money for college. Uh, also, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'm kind of creeping up on 400 subscribers, so I want to get there soon. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and go apply for some scholarships, okay? All right, I'll see y'all later. Bye.